guys, I finally got it. I've been waiting for so long, but there it is. Anastasia Bavelio's Modern Renaissance Palette. It is gorgeous. I'm so excited by all these beautiful colors. I'm going to do at least three looks with that palette to show you uh, the different options because you can go from something very subtle like I did for today. I stayed more, I focused more on something more peachy with a little bit of gold. And if you want to see how I created that look, please keep on watching. So first I'm going to use Tempera, which is a very neutral shade, all over my eyelid. Then I'm going to use Raw Sienna and go into my crease with it. in my crease and in the outer corner creating that free dimension so these eyeshadows are really 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 pigmented put some in the inner corner of your eye creating that halo effect then I'm going to the shade Burnt Orange, slightly more warm than Rose Sienna. And I'm going into my crease again. Then I'm going to use Rilgar. This is a very orangey shade, very warm shade. And I'm going to pack it in the outer corner of my eyelid. This is so pigmented, it's amazing. A little goes a long way, so just so you know. Then I'm going to use that beautiful champagne like shimmer color. This is called Primavera. And I'm going to put it in the center of my eyelid. Don't even need to put my finger. Usually with this kind of eyeshadow you you have to use your finger. Look at that. It's like gold leaf and powder. Been waiting for a long time, but it was for a good reason. I'm going to red ochre and I'm going to my outer corner and slowly drag it to the mid, middle of my eyelid just to blend it with the primavera. And I'm going really light with my brush. So yeah, this is very, very, very pigmented. Going back to Primavera with a small brush, I'm just going to pack some in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just using my Lise Boitier concealer. I really like that one. I'm going to use Red Ochre again, a dark red. And on my V, I'm just going to use Cypress Umber, that very pretty brown. And slightly under my lower lash line too. Blend everything. 
the clean brush. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Mad Max Brown eyeliner. On my waterline, I'm going to use my Stila Smudgestick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Damsel. This is a nice dark brown. Give my lash a good curl with my new eyelash curler. That's a miracle, I know. And this is a Shy Zedo eyelash curler. For mascara, I'm going to use Grandiose Extreme de Lancôme. And I really think it deserves its name. It's a really good mascara. Okay, that looks like I have fake eyelashes. For blush today, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Calypso Coral Blush because I think it will look good with that, that look. For bronzer, I'm going to use Pure. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And for today, I'm going to use Moonstone and Summer. So that is Moonstone. Look at that. That's so incredible. I love these eyeliners. I'm going to use summer on my nose. Keep it well. And that's it. And on my lips today, I'm going to use NARS, and this is unlaced, and this is with velvet lip glide. That's it. That's the final look for my first try with uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Rackinson's palette. I'm in love with that palette. I think it is a gorgeous one. It's so unique. All of these colors are amazing. The pigmentation is incredible and they blend so well. So for this first look, I just focused on something more peachy tones, like, like peach and gold tones. Uh, I didn't go to the red or pink um, or yeah, a little bit of red, but not too much. I think it's amazing how all the colors blend so well and they're so pigmented. I am really impressed and looking forward to the next look, the second look. But so far, this is amazing. I love that palette. It was worth the wait because I've been waiting for a long time for this little guy to get back in stock. So if you like this first look, if you like that first video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. But look at these colors, there's so much. There's so much to do.